What's up guys? Jai Shiro from the Engineer's Guide. This is the sixth video in the AutoCAD training series. So far in this series we've covered the line, polyline, circle, arc, rectangle, hash, move, copy tool. In this video we are going to cover the rotate tool, scale and uh, mirror tool. If you haven't watched any of the previous video from this training series, I'll drop the link in the description to check them out. And yes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the video from the upcoming training series. So without further ado, let's get started. So all the three tools, rotate, scale and mirror can be found in the modified tab. Uh, this one is for rotate, the arrow, the clockwise arrow is for rotate. The bell icon with a line in the middle is for mirror and uh, the two rectangles are for the scale. So uh, to demonstrate each one of them, let me make a rectangle. The shortcut is REC followed by space bar. Specify first point. You can specify it anywhere. Specify the last point. And uh, then uh, let's say you want to rotate this rectangle by 45 degrees. So by 45 degrees with respect to x-axis. Just select the rectangle and use the rotate. You can click over here or use the shortcut. Shortcut for rotate is RO followed by a space bar. Then as you can see, it, it is saying is to specify a base point. Let's say you want to uh, rotate your uh, rectangle about this point, then click on this. If this, then this. If you want to rotate about this point, then select this point. Let's say I want to rotate about this point. So I'll select this point. And then I've got to specify the angle by what angle I want to rotate. Let's say I want to rotate at 45 degrees. Then hit 45, press enter. So now basically this is a rectangle which is being rotated by 45 degree with respect to x-axis. Let me do control Z so you can see how the previous uh, rectangle was looking like. Control Z. So this is the rectangle with zero degree angle. Now let me do control Y again, control Y. So basically this is a rectangle with 45 degree. The entire rectangle rotated about the x-axis in this direction, 45 degrees. So let's say, uh, I want to rotate it but at the same time I want the original copy as well. So you can do that too. Just select the rectangle. Type RO followed by spacebar to activate the rotate command. Then specify the base point. Let's say I want to rotate about this. And down here you can see a copy and reference. Just hit on copy. So what copy will do is it will make sure that you have this original uh, rectangle and it will make a copy. Let's say now you want to rotate about angle of uh, 180 degree, 180 enter. So now you are having a rectangle. Now you are having two rectangles. This was the original rectangle. And this is a new rectangle which is rotated by 180 degrees. So you are getting the picture, right? So this is all about uh, the rotate tool. Let me demonstrate the use of mirror. So let me draw a line. L followed by space bar. Specify the first point. Specify if you want to make perpendicular line, make sure you turn the ortho mode specified to come out of the any function press escape then let's say i want to mirror these two rectangles about this line the first i've got to select the both the rectangles which i want to mirror then use the mirror command or hit on this mirror icon uh, the command for mirror is mi followed by a space bar then as you can read it is telling us to specify a first point uh, so i we want to mirror about this line so just select the end points of the line this point and this is the second point then you can read it is asking us whether you want to erase your source object so if you want to erase this object then press y and if you don't want to erase then just let it be n press enter so now we are having a this entire object is being mirrored about this line so let's say let me make a line again l followed by space bar now this time what i want to do is i want to mirror this whole thing about this line but at the same time I want to make sure that all these things are getting erased. So I'll select all this use the mirror command mi followed by space bar. Specify the first point and the last point of the line about which I want to mirror and uh, over here instead of n I'll type y and then press enter. So now as you can see whatever was there over here has been erased and the entire thing is being mirrored about this line. So this is about the mirror tool. Let's dive into the scale tool. Scale is right below the tool. Let's say I want to increase the size of this uh, whole object or uh, whole drawing. 
what i can do is just select the entire drawing and uh, use uh, the scale command it is uh, right up below mirror or you can use the shortcut shortcut is sc followed by space bar then as you can read it is telling us to specify a base point which basically means uh, about which point you want to increase or scale your object scale up or scale down let's say i want to scale about this point then click this point and then it's telling us to specify a factor so now right now as you can read it is zero that's why it is of the original size let's say if i just move my cursor up you can read that the specify the scaling factor is going up now it is somewhere around uh, 2.4 to 2.833 4 5.3 5.7 so it is increasing let's say i want to double the size then just i have to put number 2 then press enter so now this is of twice the size of what it was originally so that's it for today guys if you haven't watched previous videos from this training series do watch them out i'll uh, drop the link in the description and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching guys